So you might notice that on maps, uh, they have carry a ratio with them that tell you um, how zoomed in, effectively, the map is. I mean, if you made a map that was one-to-one, -one, then the map would be as large as this room, for example, in order to tell you how big this room was. So one-to-one -one isn't much good for us, okay? It's just too big, so we zoom out, okay? So it ends up that some maps uh, will carry a scale that might look like this. One to 200,000, for example. And let's say that's the scale for this map. So I've got an island and I've got two towns on this island at either end. And I want to know how far apart A and B actually are. So what I would do is I would measure how far apart these two towns were. And let's say I got uh, that these were five centimetres apart on the map. So this is a question that could be that you're either given a map and you're told to measure that distance and then convert it, or it could be that um, you're given the distance and you just need to convert it that way. It might be a simpler problem. So let's say it's five centimetres. So that would mean that my five centimetres, if one to 200,000 is like that, then if I multiply the one by five to make five, and I've got to multiply the 200,000 by 5 as well. Now, 200,000 multiplied by 5 is 1 million. So, in other words, 5 centimetres on the map relates to a million centimetres in reality, okay, from the first town, from town A to town B. So, I could write down a million centimetres as my answer. But a million centimetres, you know, it's, it's too small um, a figure to use. If I'm going to say how far it is from town A to town B, it's unlike I'm going to measure it in centimetres. So, what we'd like to do is we'd like to measure it in metres, maybe. So that's 10,000 metres because you just divide by 100. And then, well, we don't really judge two towns together in metres either. We might judge it in kilometres. So we divide by 1,000 to get to 10 kilometres. So that would mean that 5 centimetres represents 10 kilometres. And you could write that as the ratio like this, 5 centimetres to 10 kilometers, okay? Or, you could write that as one centimeter to two kilometers, if you divided both by five. So this is coming in with the simplifying ratio problem. So one centimeter on the map represents two kilometers, or one centimeter represents 200,000 centimeters. So what we found is that the two towns are 10 kilometers apart. So that is how we can use ratio to determine how far distant two towns actually are on a map. So let's say we've got another town. Let's say we've got town C. Okay. Now town C, if I measured it from town B, is actually only three centimetres. Okay? And I need to know, or I want to know, how far apart um, town B and town C are. So I can use this ratio directly now if I like, so that three centimetres would be multiplying both by three, so they must be six kilometres apart. Okay, so that would mean that B and C would be 6 kilometres. Okay, and that's how easy the ratio can now be used. Now let's say, um, in another case, we've got town D. 
Now I know that town D is 8 kilometres away. So D is 8 kilometres from B. So how far away should it be on the map? So I know that it's 8 kilometres in reality, but how far should it be on the map? So I've got this scale, one centimetre to two kilometres. And now I can say, well, to get from two kilometres to eight kilometres, I'd have to multiply by four. So it's exactly the same on the left hand side. So one times four is four centimetres. So four centimetres would be eight kilometres. So I can say that D and B are 4 centimetres apart. So that's how you can use a map ratio. And then also you can throw in the conversion of units from centimetres to kilometres. So really it may be a question that is strictly by itself using ratio. Or it could be a question that later uses bearings. Which we will look at in later videos.